When it comes to writing effective Instagram captions, the opening line is absolutely critical and I cannot stress that enough. Having a very compelling opening line that stops people's scroll or pulls them in to actually spend more time on your content is so critical and can make or break your caption and your content in general. But how do I do that? I can hear you asking that, so don't worry. We're gonna provide the answers. There are a couple of tricks to a good old opening line and we're gonna share them with you because we're cool like that and we care about you. One, make sure that the attention grabbing element of your opening line can be read before anyone else has to click more. If they have to click more for it to be effective, it's far less likely to achieve your desired purpose. Two, put the important context or call to action at the beginning before your followers have to click more. If you want someone to stay around until the very end of the caption, give them a little hint as to why they should read it in the first place. Example, love coffee? Then you'll love what I have for you next. You wanna speak people's language and give them a reason, incentivize them through curiosity to stick around and read more. Three, make your caption as engaging as possible, like using emojis at the beginning to highlight a certain word or phrase to really provide emphasis and capture some attention visually as well as their time. Four, use a stat or fun fact. Giving a stack that your followers might actually find interesting or will resonate with can get them to click more and read the full caption. It's a great way to kind of buy that next investment in terms of time and attention by piquing curiosity with something that they would actually find interesting. Five, the statement is something that sparks your reader's curiosity. Whether that's with an intriguing statement, stats, delivering an emotional response, that's the one that gets me the most often personally, or sharing an offer that they can't refuse. Finding something that will captivate them and pull them in is of the utmost importance when it comes to writing a great caption. Now that you know a few different ways to capture someone's attention, I want you to think about your audience specifically. What would they personally care about and what would capture their attention enough to make them click more? Is it a giveaway? Is it learning a top tip? Is it getting some of that good gossip? Figuring out what your followers actually want and what motivates them to read more is incredibly important and something that you want to get right. So to do that, we recommend experimenting with different kind of opening lines and tracking how it performs with your engagement on your content. At the end of the day, it's all what works best for you. And the only way to find that out is through experimentation and getting some solid feedback and learning more about your specific audience. The next element of a great caption we're gonna focus on is the call to action. If you're not already utilizing call to actions, I hate to say it, but you're doing it wrong. When you just ask your audience to do something that you want them to do, whether that be a like, a share, or a comment, they're far more likely to do it because you asked for it. And this is a really simple way to drive engagement to your content. And not only will a good call to action drive engagement on your content, it can also drive engagement or traffic to other things like your website or signing up for a newsletter or a free trial, really whatever you want people to do, a great call to action can motivate them to actually do it. So how do you actually use call to actions to boost your engagement? I know this sounds fake, but all you have to do is ask your audience to engage and they more than likely will. Yeah, it's true. Believe it or not, it actually is. There has been tons of studies that have shown that simply asking for the engagement helps to bring a lot more of it. Adding a simple call to action to your Instagram captions like tag a friend that you think needs to hear this or double tap if you agree can seriously boost your engagement as well as your post's overall reach within the Instagram algorithm, which at the end of the day leads to more exposure and potential growth for your page and your business. So here are some examples of this kind of strategy in action. One of the best ways to get people to engage with your content is through asking them questions. Say your post is about working out. Ask your followers what their favorite lift is. People like to answer questions, especially about themselves and feel like they're part of the conversation. Plus, once you start that conversation and you give somebody the invite in to your community, when you go back and forth, they're far more likely to comment and engage with future pieces of content, which only helps you as well. Another way you can drive engagement is by running an Instagram contest that has people tag a friend in the comment section to enter or share your post to their story. This will help your post reach more people and could end up with your post landing on the explore page, which means even higher reach plus more followers, win, win, win. But on the note of running effective contests on Instagram, here's a pro tip. If you decide to run an Instagram contest, we recommend including contest or giveaway at the beginning of your caption to really capture the attention of your followers and make them more likely to engage with the post. So those are a few strategies for improving engagement on your actual content, but how do we use call to actions to get engagement and traffic over to something like our website? And this would also work for a blog or a newsletter as well. This is really focused on getting traffic off of Instagram to other platforms, which can be difficult to do, but is very powerful when you can do it. So luckily in a recent update, Instagram now allows everybody to use a link on their stories, but getting someone to go watch your story and then click the link and get them off the platform can be a lot if you don't have some things set up in place to help you do this. So here are some tips to really increase the likelihood of people going where you want them to, whether that be through the link in your story or the link in your bio. Tip number one is to ask your followers to click the link. Again, sometimes it's just that easy to ask. Encourage your followers to click the link in your bio or even highlight a specific URL that is easy for your followers to type. So don't go crazy here. If it's a super long URL, you can't 
can't expect people to go type that in unless they're really connected to you. But let's be realistic here and make it as easy for them as possible. This is all about reducing friction and getting our followers and all the traffic that we're creating to do what we want them to do, to connect with them even deeper and grow. Tip number two is to make your bio engaging. Whenever someone goes to your profile, being able to draw their attention to the link in your bio can be a huge game changer. Instead of just casually having your URL hanging out there with no clear indication as to why someone should click it or not, make it stand out. Use emojis, point to the link and explain what they get from clicking that link. Really make it all about them once again. They're gonna be far more likely to do it when they benefit from doing so. And tip number three really builds on that and that's to give them a strong reason to actually click the link for them. What do they get from it? So ask yourself why, why would they click it? If you don't have a compelling answer for that, you can't expect a lot of people to click that link. What's in it for them? Give them a very compelling reason to click that link because they get something from it. Make it worthwhile for them and far more people will do it. A few examples of this could be a coupon code. Will they get access to some of your exclusive content that you know they want. Give them what they want and give it to them through that link and they'll be far more likely to click it and you'll actually benefit from having it there far more so than just leaving it there idle. Tip number four is to make your CTA stand out. As we've seen over the past few years, captions have gotten longer and longer. So how do you fight through all the noise and make your CTA actually stand out? Use emojis, use different types of font, use the different tools that we have to physically make it look different to draw attention to where we want people's eyes and attention to go. Figure out how you can make it stand out and more people will see it leading to more traffic. The final piece of this section within the course when it comes to writing awesome captions is storytelling. And storytelling is one of the most powerful tools that you have as a caption writer on Instagram. Think of one of the best Instagram posts that you've ever seen while using the platform. I'm willing to bet that the example that came to mind had some sort of storytelling piece that left you saying, yes, yes, this, this right here, and really allowed you to connect to it because it was relatable and they told it in a way of telling a story, which is what made it so relatable and easy to connect to. Being related real and telling a story on Instagram is a surefire way to get great engagement on your content. The more specific and detailed your story is, the more relatable it is, which means more people will spend time reading the content and engaging with it. So don't be afraid to call out your imperfections, call out how hard your day has been, celebrate yourself and your hard work, really be open with your audience, allow them to connect with you on a deeper level than a lot of other superficial things out there and you're gonna reap the rewards from having a very deep and connected community and story Storytelling in a relatable and approachable way is a very powerful tool to build strong relationships on Instagram and do so quickly. When it comes to captions and getting engagement, nothing is better than when someone else validates someone else's concerns, voices their own doubts and fears, and is just straight up keeping it real on Instagram. Hashtag keeping it real. The more that you can do that, the more you can be relatable and actually be a human being that people can connect with it, the more people are going to connect with it, the more engagement you will receive. And storytelling is a fundamental way that you can do that consistently and consistently be engaging with your community, making it stronger and stronger to help you grow and benefit more from using a platform like Instagram. So take some time working on your storytelling abilities. Again, go back and look at some of your favorites, see what storytelling elements they did. Why did you connect with it so deeply? Really be a scientist here and deconstruct the things that make things work and use it to your advantage. So that's some general advice, but now here's specific homework for this section of the course. Write out a few call to actions for your brand. What do you want your followers to do? And then workshop how you can best get them to perform that desired action. Spend some time workshopping here, write out a few examples, and then absolutely go over to Instagram to look for some more inspiration to help you craft your perfect call to action strategy. So spend some time doing that, take this seriously, and then I'll see you over in the next section of the course.